Welcome back everybody to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my custom voice enable zero toggle bind that I have to the side of my mouse. Um, if you already know how to put it into an auto execute, it's already in the description. You just have to copy paste it. But if you don't, I'm going to walk you through what it is. So if you don't know what my custom toggle voice enable voice disabled uh, alias is, and you haven't watched any of my other videos because I use it all the time, um, I do not enjoy listening to people talk when I don't want to listen to them talk um, unnecessarily, especially if I'm in a clutch situation or something like that. So on the side of my mouse, my mouse four button where my thumb lays, I have a, uh, a button which I can press in, makes a sound press out makes a different sound um, and up in the top left I'll zoom in on it you can see it's voice enabled voice disabled so and also clears decals and that's it. so let me wait for this stuff to go away um, and it also will clear your console so clearing console is basically just typing in clear it clears everything so here's decals press it once they're gone um, some people like to bind um, weapon inspect or just like pressing W to clear decals as well. I don't like that because one, I instinctively inspect my knife as soon as I take it out. Um, you'll never see me once just do that. I will immediately start to inspect it so I don't want to clear decals unnecessarily and that's why I don't bind it to W as well. Um, it's because sometimes I want the decals to stay there so I can see if I actually hit somebody um, because blood will splatter onto the wall. So now that you know what it is, I'm going to show you how to technically install it. So you're going to find the uh, drive that CSGO is installed upon. So for me, it's my local disk. We're going to go to Program Files 86. We're going to scroll down to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, CSGO, and CSGO once again. Uh, now we're going to go into CFG, and we have our auto-execute. If you do not have an auto-execute.cfg, you simply... Right click, new, make a text document. All right, so let's do test. All right, it's still a .txt, so we're going to type something. Um, and then we're going to go to save as all files, take out the .txt, and make it CFG. All right, uh, I'm not going to do that because I already have it. Don't save, delete, OK. So we're going to go open our auto execute. Um, if you ha don't have anything in it, then it's going to be empty. If you have stuff in there, then you probably don't need this tutorial. And this is all we're going to have. So what this is, is the bind mouse for. So this is what the key you're actually binding. So you could put anything here if you wanted to. Um, then we're creating an alias. So voice disabled and voice enabled. It's going to also clear the decals. Um, and it's going to clear the console and it's going to output voice enable zero in the top left as you saw it's also going to play a sound all right um, I sorry it's going to output voice enabled at the uh, top left and then voice disabled so yeah all you have to do is copy paste this into your CFG and uh, yeah if you guys want to see my entire like configuration, I have a video on that. It's a little outdated. I have changed some things, um, but I can do a video like that if you wanted. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day, and I will see you next time.